Create draft during a feature. In this video, we'll create an extrude with tapered walls. In Fusion 360, we want to get started with the supplied dataset, Drafted Spur Gear. We're going to start by activating the component and taking a look at the timeline. We have an initial extrude, followed by a second extrude, a fillet, a pattern, and then we have some additional features that add more detail to the part. We're going to start by rolling back after that first extrude and taking a look at what we have. This is going to be the base of the part. And if we take a look at the extrude, we can right click and edit the feature, and we can modify the taper angle by adding a draft. We're going to do this by first using minus, and there's already a parameter in here called gear draft. We're going to set it to gear draft and say OK. Now, if we roll the timeline past that, you'll notice that we begin to have a problem with the tooth. And this is because we're drafting up in the Z direction making the part smaller as it gets taller. What this means is that the extrude for that tooth is no longer in the right location. We would either need to modify the original sketch used to create that feature, or we can modify the draft on that original feature, and instead of making it a negative value, we can make it a positive value. It's important to understand the implications that changing the draft angle will have. It's going to affect the way that the part is manufactured. So it's important to have a good, clear understanding of how the part is going to be made before you make decisions like which direction you're drafting. Let's go ahead and let's modify the second feature. And this one for the draft, we're going to begin to use G for gear draft. And notice that it's drafting outward. This means that the sketch profile at the bottom is growing as it goes up in the positive Z direction. This means that we no longer have that small gap here because the geometry is actually going further into the cylinder. We're going to say OK, and now we can roll past the fillet because that won't be affected by the draft and the pattern because we're patterning that feature. So all of these elements now have created draft as we're going in the minus Z direction, the parts getting smaller. When we're talking about draft on things like gears, it's also extremely important to understand how they're going to affect their mechanical properties. If we go to modify and change parameters and take a look at the user parameter for gear draft, you can see that we're using half of degree. Half a degree is a very small draft angle, but when we're talking about draft, there are some general rules to follow. It's always important that you check with whichever manufacturing facility you'll be working with to understand what their limitations are on the manufacturer side and what their requirements are for draft angles. Generally, for smaller parts that have consistent wall thickness, you can shoot for anywhere between a half a degree to one degree draft. The taller the part gets, generally if it's five times the height of the wall thickness, we need to go up a bit more to say two to three degrees of draft. And if you have something like a texture on the outside of a part, Generally, that's going to require somewhere in the range of three to five degrees. So once again, it's important to understand the final aspects of the design and how they're going to affect these decisions. From here, let's go to our revolve and notice that the revolve is removing material. So this can be changed by modifying the sketch or by using a tool that allows us to add draft. In this case, we're not going to be looking at the draft tool just yet. Let's roll all the way to the end and take a look at our results. You can see that that other revolve added more geometry to the outside of the part, and it also has a small chamfer that's been applied to those corners. What we want to do from here is we want to inspect the model. We know that we've added draft to the gears themselves. So if we take a look at this from the top side and we zoom in, you'll notice that we can't see any of the underlying geometry because we drafted outward. If we rotate this around and view it from the bottom and we zoom in, we can actually see the walls because they're tapering outward. Even at that half of degree, we're able to see those walls knowing that we do have draft. There are some inspection tools that we can use. Under inspect, we can take a look at draft analysis. We can select the body, we can select the direction. In our case, it's going to be the XY plane. And we can set our values. In our case, since we used half a degree, we're going to go from minus half a degree to positive half a degree. And we're going to turn off the tolerance zone. 
This allows us to see the areas that have minus half a degree or positive half a degree draft. Anything that's green is going to be okay. Anything that we have in this region where we see red doesn't have enough draft on it. Now, there is generally going to be a very specific amount of draft that works. And when we change this to high quality, you'll notice that the color banding changes a little bit. But in general, if we change this to say 0.45 and minus 0.45, you'll notice that now all of those sides of the gears have turned to blue, meaning that they have enough draft. So if you're looking for exactly half of a degree, then you need to sometimes reduce that draft angle value to make sure that you're analyzing everything that you need to see. And going to, let's say, 0.49 is usually enough, or you can include that tolerance zone, which will change the way that the colorization happens on the model. For this example, let's turn off the draft analysis, go back to a home view, and let's save the design before moving on.